Now, despite China's efforts to turn the screw on Seoul, it appears the South Korean government is remaining steadfast in its determination to bring the THAAD missile defense system to the country. The defense ministry was originally scheduled to announce its evaluation results on the potential THAAD battery on Tuesday, but it has just changed that to Tuesday at the earliest. Kim Jong-soo has more. The Defense Ministry will announce on Tuesday at the earliest the result of its evaluation of the land currently occupied by Lotte Sky Hill Country Club in Songju County, Gyeongsangbuk-do Province, which has long been considered the prime location for the THAAD battery. The news comes amid diplomatic and military pressure from neighboring countries, mainly China, as well as voices of opposition on the domestic front, and signals that the Korean government has no plans to delay that installation of the THAAD system. The golf club closed in late December, allowing the South Korean military to conduct various tests on the site, as well as a portion of the military-owned land in the city of Namyangju that will be handed over to Lotte International as part of the transaction. It's predicted that the land in Songju County is worth about 90 million U.S. dollars, surpassing estimates from 2016 that had valued the land at 70 million. Still, the land in Namyangju used by the South Korean military is valued much higher at an estimated $118 million. Accordingly, the Defense Ministry has indicated that the final land transfer agreement will reflect the price differential, meaning that some of the land in Namyangju will still be controlled by the South Korean military even after the transaction. Once the internal evaluation is completed, the Ministry will conduct further studies with environmental experts, after which construction will begin. The land transfer had been originally scheduled for the end of the month, but the ministry spokesperson said on Monday that the deadline remains flexible as of now. Kim Jong-soo, Arirang News.